what I put up as then and in this video I'm going to be telling you the best cardio to do when dieting right a lot of people say hit cardio which is high intensity cardio some will say walking some also steady state cardio so which one should you do in order to you know maximize your muscle retention when dieting and just get the best results so I'm going to be telling you exactly what you need to know so it all depends I know it sounds like a shit answer but I will explain for you right now so the best type of cardio when you're dieting is depending on your calorie deficit right if you're in a real bad calorie deficit so it's quite aggressive like we're talking 500 plus right you go for rapid fat loss I'm not going to recommend high intensity interval training because that's just ridiculous when your energy levels are going to be low you know it's no risk we're going to be slow intensity interval training right let's face it so definitely not high intensity interval training uh, the steady state we could do you could do then again though the cons of this is it can take long so one hour steady state which is like you know just a moderate pace not even that on a bicycle like almost real real slow slow to moderate um again the, the calorie deficit is going to be way too high so for those of you in a high like a massive calorie deficit 500 plus i want to suggest walking or just any type of cardio that's low impact right because what we want to do is a card is not important, that's not our aspect. We're not going to be a marathon runner, a sprinter, or stuff like this. We want aesthetics, appearance, performance in the gym, right? So, cardio is not that important. We want to just minimize the. Oh, what's the word? So, we don't want the cardio to affect the weight training, basically. So, definitely walking for that one. Because that's not going to affect the recovery or the weight training. Because obviously, the insufficient number of nutrients in the calorie deficit is going to be so great, like greater. So, all those nutrients need to be for recovery. So anyway, that's that. If you're real aggressive, if you're in like a moderate deficit, we'll say like 400 to 500, um, you can do high intensity interval training depending on your energy levels, as it's gonna be good for like burning more calories. After the high intensity interval training, obviously it doesn't take as long, 10 to 15 minutes, but if you are gonna do this route, probably do one to three times a week. I wouldn't do it anymore as that's gonna affect your weight training again. Um, Especially like your legs and stuff is just when you're in a calorie deficit, they don't recover as fast. And if you do you train your legs and high intensity interval training, you're looking for trouble. <laughs> so yeah, that's that high intensity out of picture. But like I said, if we had a moderate deficit, um, walking is again in a picture. Walking, I'm probably gonna say for all of them is great. Um, what else is that? Walking, high intensity, and steady state. Steady state, I recommend for a moderate deficit. That's good. Um, except for again it takes long so again this is all personal preference i'm just trying to cover as many most common factors that i can right so and then the last one is for someone that's in a real small deficit almost almost on maintenance right there you could you can almost play with anything you can do high intensity interval training um again depending on how much time you have depending on how your energy levels feel depending on your recovery depending on the volume or the frequency of your weight training you don't want to impact your weight training remember um, so yeah, if you're in a real slight deficit, you can play with all of them, high intensity interval training, walking again and all of them. But again, you don't, walking does take a lot of time to burn the same amount of calories as high intensity interval training, right? And then again, steady state cardio, that same principle applies. So again, I can't give you an exact answer, but I kind of give you an answer for every single one of them that makes sense or to choose from. So yeah, I hope that helped. And as always, Actually, before I close the video, I said it in the video I just made here before. Um, I'm wearing these glasses for like to block the blue light out so I can sleep better, optimizing my recovery. Always try to optimize shit, man. If you want best results, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be hungry for this, man. So I'm always trying to optimize it. But that's why I keep like filling with it because it's falling on my face anyway, chubby face. Actually, it's not so chubby anymore. I've lost some weight. So anyway, yeah, I'm, if you don't know already, I'm, I'm doing a micro cut at the moment. I don't know for how long. I'm guessing for a month. I'm in about a 500, 600 calorie deficit at the moment, probably 600. My energy levels are feeling shit. But yeah, that's about it. So anyway, as always, stay positive. Let me know if you found some value out of this. Because, you know, I always, I actually do appreciate comments, man, when people say, oh, like, great video, formative, blah, blah, blah. Because then I know I'm making a good video. Otherwise, if it's just left there, no one comments. I'm like, shit, man, I let them down. So anyway, as always, stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.